Second day in Vegas, getting up a little early due to the time difference. So I fell asleep early. I know, pretty lame. I was actually working on trying to put that first video out, which uh, I don't know, I'm not used to doing vlogs, so we'll see how that goes. Today's agenda, we got one more day before shot starts. So again, I got here a few days early just to kind of hang out, um, but today, no agenda. I'll probably pop over to the convention center, check it out a little more, see kind of how the progress has went with setup. I'm already checked in, um, registered, just waiting for tomorrow. Got a friend coming in soon. I have to pick them up from the airport. Uh, so that'll be exciting. So we'll probably just be hanging out in Vegas. Probably some debauchery this evening and we'll see how it goes eating my favorite morning snack. A lot more people here today, as you can see, all prepping. Some of the booths are a lot closer to being set up. Um, still a whole bunch of them working to be set up. Media's not allowed in a bunch of rooms, so you have some victos here going on over here. Pretty impressive that all this can come together in such a short period of time and set up and tear down these conferences. Um, kind of amazing, honestly. Okay, so I wandered up to the fifth floor, and as you can see, this is the supplier showcase, which is two days going on, uh, kind of at the beginning, the pre shot show that uh, allows new suppliers to um, present some of their. especially if you're a smaller company trying to get your name out there and let some, uh, some of the attendees kind of take a look at what you have to offer. So I wanted to try to squeeze in a few interviews on a couple of products that I was interested at the supplier showcase today. Uh, the first uh, product is from uh, Millspec Plastics. And uh, as you may or may not know, um, I do like uh, overlanding. I'm a fan of off-roading. And so um, they are developing and have almost in production a, uh, a very solid and beefy set of recovery tracks. Uh, their main competitor uh, is Max Tracks, and uh, after discussion with them and a couple of their demos, um, they look to be like a solid, kind of unique product. Um, that looks to really compete at potentially half the price of Max Tracks, at least that's their price point. So this interview is going to be with uh, Millspec Plastics. I'm Bob Harrington with Millspec Plastics V-Track. So we've got a new product here, and this new product is called V-Track. So we have an extreme heavy-duty type product. It's, uh, it's made to be pliable, but also at the same time somewhat flexible under heavy weight. So we have vehicle weights up to 35,000 pounds. This has been tested for. We have replaceable treads. They're stackable, very heavy duty. They can handle pretty much anything that you can throw at them. Run over them with very heavy duty armored vehicles as well as light pickups. So essentially, if your vehicle is stuck in the sand, snow, or mud, you put these under the tire and you have instant traction. So they're stackable. You can see we have a unique feature here. If you have a bag of products that you normally lose the first day you get something new, you can put zip ties, replaceable stakes, so replaceable treads and stakes. Stakes go here to prevent slippage. We'll make everything in North Carolina. So I'm Bob Harrington with V-Track. Thank you. This next interview is with a pretty unique company that I came across at the supplier showcase um, that's called Propel um, that is working to bridge the uh, gap between textiles and technology. You all know uh, by some of my uh, other videos that I am a technology nerd and so this uh, company has a very unique product in how they are using textiles to um, basically allow electrical current to move through those textiles for a number of potential applications. Um, so the interview is with uh, Claire King, who is the president of the company. So take a look, uh, very interesting and uh, 
There we go. Um, I'm Claire King and I'm the president of Propel and we're a company that works on the bridge between technology and textiles. We've had a, several SBIR, uh, Small Business Innovation Research Grants from the U US Navy to fund development of e-textiles to really solve the problems to make e-textiles actually work. So what I'm going to show you here is a soft knitted textile in which we can carry data and power and I'm going to demonstrate that by showing you that I'm powering my cell phone through this soft new textile. So what we have here is really uh, a technology that's an enabler. We've developed e-textiles and e-yarns that can, sorry, uh, that can carry the data and power and then we're using 3D knitting to code the, those e-yarns exactly where we need them in a garment or into an object. It could be a car seat, a truck seat, it could be the steering wheel, it could be something like this physiological monitoring garment where we've got the e-yarns here and sensor patches here that are measuring heart rate. And I've got this actually hooked up to a heart rate um, uh, um, replicator that's sending 100 beats per minute into these sensors here, being picked up by this module. Uh, this part, the modules themselves, were very indifferent, or I should say agnostic, as to what modules there are. This is another one from Finland that we uh, have built shirts around. And this is another one, which is the US Army Medical Command uh, module, which actually snaps onto this and uh, collects not only uh, heart rate, but also skin temperature and estimated water body temperature. So our technology of the eons and the sensors, we can connect to printed flexible electronics, printed circuit boards, and build out items, textiles, that will actually carry the data and power through the textile. With B2B, we're looking for opportunities for working with people who want to integrate our technology into what they're doing, and that's really our approach to uh, the whole technology. This all belongs to us, because it was done under the SBIR program. The Navy was kind enough to fund it, and I'm sure there'll be Navy applications for pilots, Navy SEALs in dive suits, but we can then take this technology and work with other U.S. companies and, and non-U.S. companies to broaden its application. So that is the supplier showcase uh, day before uh, SHOT Show's official opening. Uh, a lot of uh, machining manufacturers as well as finishing and molding. Uh, that's what I saw a large amount of um, in here. Uh, so interesting. There were a few uh, manufacturers of some different products that uh, were a little bit more of my interest in there. but. Uh, Pretty cool experience for uh, first time being here.